The movie begins in the ocean with a Russian submarine called the Sevastopol. They're carrying a super dangerous computer device underwater. To get into it, they need this special key that looks like a cross, but it's split into two parts. While they're sailing, they spot what seems like an enemy sub close by. It shoots a torpedo at them. They shoot back, but then something strange happens. Both the enemy sub and their torpedoes vanish, like they were never there. Suddenly, their own torpedo turns back and hits them, destroying their sub and everyone inside. Ethan Hunt gets a surprise visit from a new IMF agent who pretends to deliver food but actually hands him his next mission lock. The mission is from IMF director Eugene Kittredge, who warns Ethan about a super important key that could cause big trouble if it falls into the wrong hands. Kittredge also tells Ethan that Ilsa Faust, a former ally, has gone rogue and has one half of the key. There's a huge reward of $50 million for anyone who catches her. Plus, the mission involves someone from Ethan's past, the very person who inspired him to join IMF in the first place. Ethan travels to the desert in Namibia to find Ilsa, who's hiding there. He lets her know he's coming, but then a bunch of mercenaries chase him on horses during a sandstorm. They track him to Ilsa's hideout, and together they fight off the mercenaries with their guns. Sadly, it looks like Ilsa gets hit by a bullet and seems seriously hurt and dies. Kittredge meets with top intelligence agency leaders, known as the Community, led by director Denlinger. They discuss a super smart computer device called the Entity, which is getting smarter all the time and has hacked into lots of important networks, including the Russian sub. They figure out they can't destroy the Entity, so their best hope is to control it somehow. Kittredge brings up IMF just as Ethan, in disguise, uses gas to knock out everyone except Kittredge, then swaps faces with him using a mask. Ethan knows Kittredge put a bounty on Ilsa, but a flashback reveals she's still alive and gave Ethan her half of the key before running off. Kittredge warns Ethan that whatever he's getting into now is way tougher than anything before. Ethan then swaps his face with Kittredge's mask so he can sneak out, and he shoots Kittredge with a tranquilizer dart. Ethan teams up with Benji Dunn and Luther Stickle to talk about the entity and how to catch the person behind it. They find out about a buyer trying to get the key at an airport in Abu Dhabi. At the same time, an agent from the community named Jasper Briggs and his partner Degas are on Ethan's tail. The IMF trio arrives at the airport for their mission. Ethan, with the help of Benji and Luther, tricks Jasper into going for the wrong people by messing with their video surveillance system. Ethan ends up pursuing a lady named Grace, who has stolen the second essential portion. He catches up with her and pushes her to stand by him after discovering that the buyer has been assassinated by a mystery assassin known as Paris. They try to outrun Jasper and his men, while Benji observes an unusual item entering the luggage section. Luther assists him in tracking it down and discovering that it is a bomb that activates and can only be deactivated by completing riddles or answering personal questions, and it detects when Benji lies. It even leaves a nasty message for Benji, you are done. When Benji is stuck on the last question with seconds to go, he looks at the bottom and understands the code is supposed to spell good luck, only to discover that it was empty all along. Ethan then loses track of grace when he sees a mystery man named Gabriel, who appears to vanish into thin air. Jasper and Degas then spot Ethan and pursue him around the airport, but he escapes. After seeing Gabriel, Ethan informs Luther and Benji that the expedition is being terminated. Ethan finds Grace in Rome, where the police catch her with a bunch of fake IDs wanted for various crimes. Ethan pretends to be her lawyer and discovers that someone anonymous hired Grace to get the key half. While Ethan tries to slip away, Grace manages to escape from him. They're then chased by Paris and the cops through Rome. Ethan and Grace try to find safety in an IMF car, but Paris still follows them. After some tricky moves, Grace slips away from Ethan once more. Ethan catches up with Benji, Luther, and Ilsa, and they chat about the entity and Gabriel. Before Ethan joined IMF, Gabriel had sadly killed a woman named Marie who was close to Ethan. They plan to go to a party in Venice where Gabriel will be. At the party, Gabriel finds Grace and takes her to Alana Mitsopolis, also known as White Widow. Ethan and Ilsa also locate them and discover that Alana has the other half of the key and hired Grace to find the first half. Gabriel talks about the entity and how Alana knows why they need to deliver the key to it. The entity seems to know a lot about what's going on. Gabriel warns that either Grace or Ilsa will die before the key is delivered. Despite Ethan's efforts to persuade her otherwise, Alana sticks to her decision to work with the villain. The team splits up as Grace dashes through the streets, but Gabriel catches up with her by the canal. Ethan tries to reach her, but the entity tricks him by posing as Benji, leading him astray. Meanwhile, Paris confronts Ethan and they fight, but Ethan decides not to kill her. Ilsa arrives and fights Gabriel, but sadly, he fatally wounds her. Ethan arrives too late, and Ilsa passes away. Grace joins Ethan, Benji, and Luther, feeling guilty about Ilsa's death, 
but Luther assures her it's not her fault. Ethan promises to keep Grace safe, while Luther goes off the grid to erase traces of the entity from his hard drive. He also advises Ethan not to kill Gabriel, as he's the only one who knows why the entity needs the key. Their new plan is to follow Alana, who's meeting a buyer for the key on the Orient Express. Benji tries to make a mask for Grace to pretend to be Alana, but the mask machine breaks down when making one for Ethan to pose as her brother. So, Ethan has to come up with a different way to get on the train. On the train, Gabriel and Paris arrive and kill the conductor, causing the train to go at its maximum speed. Ethan rides a motorcycle, searching for the right spot to jump onto the train. Grace subdues Alana and pretends to be her. Meanwhile, Gabriel and Paris come across Denlinger, who wants to join forces with the entity. Denlinger talks about the Sevastopol, which was testing its stealth abilities with the entity's network, but got tricked into blowing itself up. When Denlinger mentions he knows where the sub is, Gabriel kills him. Then, he turns on Paris, accusing her of betrayal, and stabs her before fleeing. Ethan misses his chance to ride onto the train with his motorcycle, so he has to parachute off a cliff and land just right. Meanwhile, Grace meets the buyer for the key, who turns out to be Kittrich. She thinks about taking the money but feels like it's betraying herself, so she refuses it. Grace swipes the key but her disguise is blown when the real Alana wakes up. Gabriel's henchmen try to grab Grace, but Ethan crashes through the window just in time to save her. Ethan goes after Gabriel, with Jasper and Dagas also on the train, chasing him. Grace heads to the front to stop the train. After a tough fight, Jasper and Dagas corner Ethan before he can get to Gabriel, and Ethan jumps off the train. Gabriel sets bombs to blow up the bridge ahead. Ethan and Grace detach the front car while the agents help everyone else on board to safety. The bridge explodes, and Ethan and Grace have to climb through falling cars. Just as they're about to fall, Paris saves them. Before passing out, she mentions the Sevastopol and wishes Ethan luck. Ethan parachutes away before Jasper and Degas can catch him. Grace then finds Kittredge and asks to join IMF. Gabriel thinks he's won until he finds out Ethan swapped the real key with a lighter. Furious, he screams Ethan's name. Ethan meets up with Benji, who now has the real key. Then, Kittredge's voice comes in, giving Ethan his next mission, finding the Sevastopol and saving the world. Kittredge wishes Ethan good luck. In this way, movie ends here. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe for more interesting movie recaps.